Ooh. We already said rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah, nice Boys. one. What is going on everyone? My name is Joseph Reynolds and today I'm joined by Lucas Carvalho, obviously. If you don't know this man, one thing I can guarantee is you will have seen his knockout earlier in the year and almighty fighting, but obviously this year has been a good year for you as well and then looking at what's next for yourself, how do you sort of feel this year has been for you as a fighter? As a fighter, I think my performances have been good. Um, there is only one thing I'm not happy with though, is the fact that I am struggling to get matched right now. Yeah. It's been a good six months since I had a fight. And although my, my performances have been really good, it's made it a lot harder to yeah. find fights. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, and, and as well, that's all like one of the big issues sometimes in the UK MMA scene where fighters all of a sudden, they have like some really good performances, the momentum's cut because people don't want to accept the fights. So do you feel as though that is one of the sort of the big pressing issues? And what do you do in that time when you aren't able to get these fights? I think it's counterproductive for people who are looking to eventually fight me or the people who I will eventually fight because all this time I'm spending not having a fight, I'm only getting better. My grappling is only improving, my striking is only getting better, I'm only getting stronger, I'm only getting faster. And I generally do feel that every day when I go out and I spar people from other gyms, like I'm testing my skills and I can only see myself getting better and better. Um, I think they're wasting their time. I think the quicker you catch me, on this road, the easier it will be for you to defeat me. Not saying that you will, but the longer you, the longer you take, the harder it will be. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and as well, obviously, in terms of taking a look back at those last few performances, and especially in amateur MMA, it feels like from fight to fight, each amateur fighter that's training pretty much full time is always making very big jumps in skills. So, do you feel as though even when we next time see you in there, it's going to be a completely different fighter again from your last fight? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I don't think I don't I don't think that anyone's actually seen what my skill set is, simply because both my performances have been so quick. So I guess there's that unpredictability kind of thing that scares people. But yeah, my skill set is still not really not really being seen. When it gets seen, then then you're gonna realise what issue people generally will have to you know what I mean. Yeah, and as well obviously training in IMA obviously there's a lot of high level fighters from pros to amateurs to just hobbyists who come in and train but to be around all these sort of different levels on the mats pretty much day in day out what is that sort of like to have still really early into your amateur career it's amazing it's amazing training uh, our striking coach is a three-time two-time world champion Thai boxing we've got a amateur champ in Lewis who I grapple with all the time I've trained with people like George Staines Mark Dia Casey like training with high level people you can really compare your skill to the highest level of the sport and it just really helps you grow your confidence. Yeah. And as well, obviously, IMA is still early into its life. It's about been open about a year. So to be part of like, really the first squad that's rising up as competing fighters as well, what's that sort of like? Because as always, when you look at IMA, there's always someone preparing for a fight. So to be around that all the time, what's that like as a fighter? It's amazing. It's like we're the first bunch. Do you know what I mean? We're the best bunch of the pack. We're the ones who are, who are leading IMA into war, basically. We're the ones who are helping to grow its name. And we take a lot of pride in that. We train very hard to perform every time that we go out. And we're not looking to lose. We're always looking to win. We're trying to get IMA's name as big as possible. And that is what we're all about. Yeah, and as well, in terms of obviously, talk me about through, obviously, when you did get that big knockout win, was that like something that even before you'd had that fight or even before a debut, was it something you always expected to do, just burst onto the scene like you did? Or did it sort of go in a way where like, oh, this has happened a lot quicker than I thought it would? To be honest, look, I had no doubt that I was going to lose ever, right? Um, when, I, when I'm zoned into a fight and I, and I zone in almost every time, it's almost like I don't think about what I'm doing. Um, when he came forward, he dropped his, his left hand on that second jab and I saw the opportunity and I like taking my opportunities. I burst through it and I didn't expect to drop him. I didn't expect to knock him out with that first shot. I thought I missed that first shot actually, but it just happened that it happened and I capitalised with the opportunity I was given and that's all it was really. I wasn't planning on knocking him out in four seconds. It happened. To be honest, I wish it did go a bit longer just because I trained for so long for that fight but I'm grateful for what I got. Yeah, and as well, obviously, both your fights have been really short so do you feel as though you almost, as you mentioned, wished it was a bit longer? Do you almost wish you could get more maybe to the second round, to the third round, just to get that more cage time? Or are you happy to keep getting the finishes as you have been? Listen, I leave no stones unturned in training. So even if I had spent more time in a cage, 
I don't think there's anything that I would learn to improve from there. I'm not learning to improve in the gym, in the fight sims, in the sparring. Do you know what I mean? I've got a great set of coaches. Every time I make a mistake, they're like, this is what you should do. And even myself, every time I make a, a wrong choice, I'm always fighting against myself, telling myself if I go home, I research more, I learn more all the time. I'm really a student of the game. I'm just looking to really improve as much as possible. And yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't regret the, the fights ending so quick. Um, it was just for the first one. That I thought, you know what, maybe I'll get a bit of a longer one. But after the second one, I don't care if it was first round. The third one, I don't care. The fourth one, I don't care. Like, I'm just looking to go out there, get the job done, get my name out there and eventually turn pro. Yeah, 100%. And then just a final thing for myself is obviously, I'm sure people will have seen that knockout before, but hopefully we can see you get another fight in this year. But for the next one, what is it that people can expect to see? For the next one, you can expect to see my true skill set. I'm going to be doing a lot of grappling and you're going to realise I'm just a complete package. I'm going to be taking people down, holding them down, beating them on the ground, because that isn't what my actual game is. And I just don't think people are expecting it at all ready for it. 100%. So that's everything from me. Obviously, Lucas Cavallo is a must-watch fighter. Very exciting. Every time he steps into the cage, as is any fighter from AMA, uh, IMA leads even. But if you'd like to take a chance to any sponsors, teammates, coaches, anything like that, obviously feel free to go ahead, buddy. Yep. Um, I've been recently sponsored by Labasia Fitness. Uh, really happy to be working with them. Um, I want to thank all my coaches, all my training partners. We put a lot of work in day, day, out, day in, day out. We're helping each other a lot. Pad work improving our skills, drills, in times where the gym's not even supposed to be open. I want to thank Liam for everything he does for us, leaving, giving us the opportunity to do all this. And yeah, I hope to just represent IMA, make us better, make us more well-known. And I'm also calling out every lightweight in this country because at the moment, no one's accepting fights. It's better to accept it now than later because I'm only getting better. So. There you go. Well, that's everything from me. You heard the man. The lightweight division is on notice. Appreciate your time, buddy. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Yeah, cheers for that, buddy. Thank you very much. No, my absolute pleasure. Thank you. Oh.